I'm not a recruitment officer. If you want to join the army, I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. Impressive, aren't they? You don't see anything like this outside of NCR territory, that's for sure. We get the water, clean water, pumped in from Lake Mead. If you follow the big pipes, they'll take you all the way to the lake. A lot of the crops grown here support the various NCR camps in the region. McCarran, Golf, and Forlorn Hope, to name a few. We can't have wastelanders popping in here for a free meal, so my squad and I are assigned to keep things from going to hell. Howdy. Something I could help you with? Sure do. Came from the hub on account of the Thaler Act. Farming's decent work, but the whole thing's a bum deal. Something the politicians back in Shady Sands came up with. They pay us to move here and farm the land. They even protect the fields. Bad soil and ration water. It's to be expected around here. But the rationing's off. Worst part is NCR won't admit it. Pretty hard to meet their crop quotas with 20% less water than we're supposed to be getting. Not that OSI cares about any of this. They're part of the deal. The Thaler Act. We work the fields while they protect the crops and the water. A lot of folks come to New Vegas and lose everything in free side of the Strip. They get hungry, desperate, and try to take our hard work. Much as I sympathize, their theft would put me in a bad spot. I got a crop quarter to meet. Everything I can. Farmers out here don't have the luxury of being picky. I get by mostly on maize and tobacco. What is it? The Office of Science and Industry has carefully calculated the amount of water needed for these crops. The whole thing is handled by computer. Besides, most of these crops look fine to me. If the farmers can't handle the job, they shouldn't have signed up in the first place. If there really is a problem, they can take it up with Lieutenant Boyd at McCarran. Farming isn't my department. Can I help you with something, stranger? We've been here for a few years, just looking for a place we can call our own. Life's harsh, but still, it beats the hell out of the desert. We've got numbers, we've got food, and we've got trade. That's progress, stranger. Keep your nose to the ground, stranger, that's what. Mind your own business and let us mind our own. Are we clear? If you've got a mind to loot the old H&H &H tools factory, don't even bother. That place is sealed tighter than a rad scorpion's bunghole. Every salvager who tries gets blown up, flattened, or gutted by traps. Then he starts to stink up the town. And we're the ones to clean up the mess. Name's Crandon, stranger. I keep an eye out for trouble around here. Folks that don't belong. Murderers, rapists, extortionists, and everything in between. You know, business as usual in North Vegas, stranger. NCR, did you just crawl out from under a rock? Those folks only care about their business, their people, and their pockets. NCR's order? Don't make me laugh, stranger. We work this land, we own these streets, and we yank up the bad weeds ourselves. Got it? Jules, myself, and a few others patrol the streets and sewers. Any punks come up out of the rest of the city, we give them the runoff. You want to help us out? What makes you think we want you around here, huh? That's the kind of stuff I like to hear, stranger. All right. We could use someone like you. Some squatters decided to take space where they don't belong over by the playground. We'd prefer to keep them off the streets and out of sight. Maybe you could go and talk to them, convince them to see things our way. I like your speed, stranger. Let me know when that's done. What do you want? Oh, really? And how are you going to make us? Hey, hey, don't worry. I was just kidding. We're going, right, boys? Have you taken care of those squatters? That's good to hear. Can't ever be too careful with strangers around here. Good work with those newcomers. I think you can handle more serious business with more serious rewards. There's a handful of greasers down in the sewers causing trouble. They ain't packing too much iron, but I'd like them dealt with all the same. Glad to hear it. Let me know when they're gone. Hmm. I see a lot of folks come and go, but none fit your type. Where you come from, stranger? Because that's the law of the land. 
You never know when someone's going to stab you in the back. And I like mine upright. Maybe one day, stranger, when you've seen all I've seen, done all I've done, you'll sooner trust a rad scorpion than a new face in the wasteland. You've got a sharp eye on you. I take it you like guns, huh? Question is, can you handle more than just a weapon? I mean, you've got to know yourself before you can truly know the gun. So let's see it, stranger. Do you know yourself? We see eye to eye, we speak warrior to warrior. And I thought myself too old to find an equal. <laughs> Listen, warrior, there are two kinds of folks. You load your gun like an ordinary man, or you load it like a devil. We ain't ordinary, are we? See, I pack good brass up with slow burning powder, then cap it with a heavy semi wide cutter bullet. That's how you make 44 ammo that'll put the fear of the heavens on any wasted that dare cross your path. That's a long one, stranger. Let's just say I got tired of killing in the wasteland, and now I found a better home for my old butt. Outer Vegas ain't exactly a safe place. Despite our numbers, the wasteland creeps through every nook and cranny. I make sure any dangers to the people of North Vegas stay outside our barrier, stranger. Day and night, I stand watch. We're independent folks here. Merchants, gamblers, NCR whores. All of them trade with us, and we offer protection against critters and the fiends. You heard me. We don't like those stiff back, clean hand little pussies. New Vegas belongs to the people. The NCR is just a corrupt and bloated monster no better than any other wasteland crawler. We make this land wealthy, and we ain't giving it up. They're a bunch of lunatics so pumped full of chems they don't give a damn about life anymore. Fiends rape, kill, and maim for the hell of it. Vault 3's fiend territory. Those shitheads attack West Side all the time, even making it to the rest of Outer Vegas when they crawl under the sewers. You clean that vermin's nest? Gotta say, we don't see that kind of attitude around here. Good work. What the hell are you looking at, punk? Oh, yeah? Fuck off, asshole. I don't... Wait, you've got a point. All right, fellas, let's get out of this shithole. Have you run off those greasers? Great work. I gotta make sure this place doesn't eat itself from the inside. You know, this time I may actually need a gun with a brain. Talk to Mrs. Hostetler. She's near the Crimson Caravan. I think her daughter's making bad friends, the kind that'll slit your throat in the dark. I like your enthusiasm, stranger. Let me know when that's done. What are you doing here? Get out before I blow your head off. He did, huh? All right. What do you want? He should really mind his own business. Crannon's good to keep scum in check, but he ain't exactly subtle. If you're good at snooping around, then I could use you. I need to find out what my daughter's up to. She's been frequenting this square in North Vegas, probably hanging out with street scum. I want to know more about her new friends. All right, we've got a deal then. I'll make sure to compensate you for your time, if you find anything useful. What's eating you? Alice. Oh yeah, I've seen her around here much too often as of late. I reckon she's been hanging out with Andy and his crew. Try the gray. Beats me why people go into that forsaken thing. At least with huts and sewers, you know they ain't crumbling on top of your head. What the fuck you want, huh? Oh yeah? What for? Maybe they don't want to talk to you. Maybe they ain't here anymore. Maybe you asked too many questions, stranger. This is our turf. Don't even try to snoop around or I'll fucking kill you right here, right now. What? You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Why do I always gotta fix someone else's crap around here? What are you looking at, huh? Answer me, or I'll get trigger happy real quick. Wait right there. You told my men that Alice's mother was waiting for me outside, didn't you? I've got my eye on you. Get the fuck off my turf. You think I give a shit? 
Has it crossed your mind that Alice is all the way in this with me? Maybe because I'm so good looking. Maybe because her mother's trying to break her back, planting crops that die from rads as soon as they're in the ground. Or maybe she's just a dupe. Why do you even care? She's happy making her own way in the world. And you think that's worth her happiness? Go on and tell her then. Watch what happens when you crush her dreams. And how exactly would you do that? Yeah, sure. Back off. I know how to use this gun, and I'm not afraid to shoot if you try anything. I've put up with their shit long enough. No more. I'll... I'll kill them if they get in my way. It's payback time, that's what. They've got no right to screw me over, and I'm tired of it. Then what the hell do you want? Don't try anything, I mean it. Okay, but this better not be a trick. What are you talking about? Andy wants to help me leave this hole, doesn't he? That, that, that son of a bitch! I'll take the money and I'll kill him too. I, I don't know what I want, but I hate this place and I hate these people. It all used to be so simple. Why did they change? Why can't they see my pain? Do they? Look at my mother. All she cares for is a patch of bare dirt where nothing green will ever grow to feed us. My father, a trading business that he'll never own, risking his neck every day against wastelanders and cutthroat merchants. And I'm supposed to be part of those dreams? What about my dreams, stranger? What about me? It's all me, isn't it? The pain, the anger, my joy. All of that's just me. I should have met you before, stranger. Thank you. She... Alice left, didn't she? I can't believe you let her go. Some help you've been. Yes, I suppose you're right. Please, accept half of our reserve. We'll manage, somehow, as we've always done. We do need it, stranger. Still, I wish there was something we could give you in return. If you see Alice again, please, tell her we won't hold it against her. Tell Alice that we love her. Swank fill me in about Benny. Hell of a thing, baby. Hell of a thing. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy, but Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me? I think he's got a dame from Gamora, holed up in a suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Ring-a-ding, my card. Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Take it easy, baby. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you?
number one fan. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Any luck with Garrett yet? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no Shark Club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Howdy there, partner. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me, I'll do it. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? The cowboy act. Yeah, he dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 3% of the cut comes to 100 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 3%, baby. You enjoy that. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 3%. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your three percent. You know it, baby. Hello again, dear. Oh, 
that old thing. That's just a hollow tape from the last time I visited my grandkids. Such sweet little children, you know, little angels. Sometimes it's hard to remember them. So I take that old tape out from time to time and listen. It's my medicine, dearie. It keeps me calm, but it makes my memory go all fuzzy. That's why I only take my dosage every other time. That way, at least, I remember their faces. Oh, don't you worry your silly little head about that pumpkin. Grandma knows what she's doing. Are you sure, dearie? Taking my medicine all the time makes me feel woozy, but it does make it easier for me to ignore Leo. Well, all right then, dearie. I suppose I'll have my hollow tapes to remind me of Becky and Jimmy. We take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. I'm ready for that. Are you? That's what the scope's for. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? I'd like to assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity, but I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing we could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. Caesar's dead. Bet he didn't see this coming when he was having his coffee this morning. Still, it's not gonna stop the Legion. It might not even slow them down. Intel we had back in the NCR said they had a whole succession lined up. They'll replace him as soon as word gets out. The other thing I heard is that he wasn't really commanding the army anymore. Guess we made sure of that. <laughs> yeah. That was some kind of stunt we pulled. Whatever happens from here on out. We killed that prick in the middle of his fortress. Ought to give the rest of them some to think about. Well, you're here ahead of schedule. I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. Ah. <sighs> that you were searched very thoroughly when you arrived at the fort is a certainty. And as the chip is a little too large to be secreted away, I also regard it a certainty that the chip was discovered, taken from you, and given to Caesar, who returned it to you. Two plus two equaling four, Caesar wants you to destroy whatever you find in this bunker. But that's not going to happen, because you're going to work for me. It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a kind of barracks. You'll understand soon enough. That's rather obvious, isn't it? The platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. If personal gain 
what you sought should have done as asked. May there be a hell for you, a Tartarus bleak, unending. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? You already took care of Mr. House? Wow, you work fast. Please, go on. Really? Talk about diplomatic skills. I mean, just not getting blown up was a success. Now they'll only blow up the right sorts of people. That's what matters. That's one down, four to go. <laughs> Wow, that is amazing. You are just a hero. I am serious. That's two down, three to go. Maybe they'll be devoured by giant scorpions. All sorts of things could happen to them out there. That's three down, two to go. A cannibalism problem, really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's four down, just one to go. Okay, consider them forgotten, along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! That accounts for all the tribes you needed to get to know. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful, let's go. This is big, huh? A very big moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Wait. So. That's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> our titanium alloy housing does a good job of protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms fire and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite deadly against off targets in medium range. That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. All of this is old hat, right? Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. Makes quite a difference. With the M-235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets at long range. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launching system makes us deadly in close-range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now. All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past, and how I might be able to help out. I wasn't always with the followers, or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. 
but they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnapped people. Eventually, someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. The Enclave did a lot of bad things, but there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. I don't think I could convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the pass phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I was the officer in charge. And Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along. And I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, 
but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Your travel's been going all right? Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebird. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Watch your six out there. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Well, it's about damn time. What took you... Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old, and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, and old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. Uh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Things were better back then. What do you want to know? Ha! <laughs> I'm not saying. It's part of my mystique, after all. The truth of it is that I did cut out a raider's heart. But only took a bite to mess with his buddies. They had me surrounded, and I went with the first thing that came to mind. Some ran, and the rest were startled just long enough. Sure do. Had a wife for a while. Tribal girl. Really pretty eyes. But she's been gone a long time now. Well, ain't like I've got places to be. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about, then? Well, now, there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life, but you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dad. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. 
Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Been a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. All right, then. I'll show up at this gathering of yours. It might be good to see the others. Johnson excluded. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. Heavy weapons, trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. <laughs> Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. He won't turn on us, but he's a good shot, and I'd hate to do this without him. Day one, we didn't. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. I stopped being Moreno's officer a long time ago. Everyone here respects me, but they don't need to follow my orders. Not anymore. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Hmm. Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all gonna shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're gonna need every doctor they can get. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. 
It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hooper Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. I don't think you need to worry about the specifics. Basically, expect a lot of firepower and dead bodies. Enclave technology is even more advanced than Brotherhood equipment. And in the hands of soldiers as experienced as Moreno and the others, let's just say it's truly a sight to behold. I think you're on the right track. The only way to ensure relative safety and independence for the people of New Vegas is to prevent others from taking control of the region. That means no NCR, no Mr. House, and no Legion.